again with another ridiculously huge haul. So get a snack, get some tea because this might be a long one. Um, I went on a thriftcation like I was talking about in my previous video. We went again to the other side of the state to visit family and it did not disappoint. We found a bunch of stuff. Um, their thrift stores are definitely a little more on the pricey side and I don't get my Goodwill discount when I go there, which is a bummer, especially since it's in the same state. Like we should still get, be able to use the same discount. It's pretty lame, but whatever. Either way, um, we still got a lot of really cool stuff and I'm really excited to show you. So most of this is from Goodwill and I think we went to one Salvation Army and then everything else is from Goodwill, which is pretty exciting because generally speaking, I don't find like a bunch of awesome stuff all at one time when I go to Goodwill. Usually it's like I find a little bit here, a little bit there, and then slowly but surely gather enough stuff to do a haul. So very excited. All right. Um, as per usual, I picked up a bunch of brass. So I'm going to start with these really awesome napkin rings. Um, they have this really pretty filigree, um, etched flower on them. And I got a set of four. My sister-in-law actually saw these cause they were in a bag. So I kind of was already just like junk overload. And she's like, Oh, what about these? You like brass? And I was like, I do like those. Um, I think if they had filigree on them, I wouldn't didn't have the filigree. I wouldn't like them as much, but they're just really cool. And they're actually pretty thick and heavy. So um, they're definitely vintage. So I was very excited to find those. Those are just from um, Goodwill. Then I don't even remember like what I got at what Goodwill because it was all sort of like a whirlwind. So um then I got a set of these little bowls. So they all look like this. Um, it's funny because I have pretty, my style's pretty masculine um, in general. Not that I really like gender stereotypes like that, but I pretty much like really um, dark colors and more industrial type of things. Um, so I'm not really like a traditional shabby chic type of girl but I've been picking up a lot of stuff lately that's a little bit more like shabby chic and these are like super shabby chic but they're so pretty I don't know I love the old flower detail um and I love like the the gold um they're Steubenville and they're made in the USA and um I think the coolest thing about them is that I got a set of four so I really like the way they look all stacked together they just look really pretty um I think they would be really pretty just on display in a kitchen um but I would also use them because they're beautiful they have a little bit of crazing but just just a little bit which is also consistent with their age which kind of makes them I almost feel like makes them a little more special because it shows that they are truly old. Um, okay, then I got this little ruffle um, silver crest dish. Um, I believe it's by Fenton, but you can never be 100% sure. Um, but it has this clear ruffle around um, the sides and I really was drawn to the blue. Um, it's not something I normally pick up. Again, this is kind of feminine for me, but I know that a lot of people like Fenton and also like the blue. So if it was just clear, I probably wouldn't have nabbed it, but because it has the blue, it makes it a little bit more desirable. So um, this was $2.99. Um, my little bowls were a dollar each, and I honestly don't know how much my um, napkin rings were because they were in a bag and I took them out of the bag and threw it away. So don't know. Um, the next thing I picked up was, trying to like keep everything straight. Um, this little tiny lamp. Um, I just thought it was really pretty. It's um, from Holland, I believe. Um, it's Delft. And I just liked it. I liked how it was like super small and they just kind of turned this little jar into a lamp. Um, and it's definitely old. Like look at this plug, look at that. 
Is that cool though? Like I love this. That's what's so funny is I love like the old flower stuff, but this is so cool. It says the handy plug. It's really hard to see, but it's pretty rad. Um, and then it also has this little thing, which is metal. Um, so yeah, it's pretty old. I, and I just thought it would be really charming, like on a bedside table, um, with maybe like a big, um, Edison bulb. And I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. It kind of is a little dirty cause it's super old, but yeah, it, I tried it out. It does work. Um, whoever buys it might want to rewire it just because it is a little scary that it's like this super old plug, but it's just cool. Um, so all of these things so far will be in my shop. Um, but like I've said many times before, really with the exception of the Fenton, all those things are things I would happily keep. Um, and I love the Fenton too. It's just not something I would like need to keep, but all the rest of that stuff, I really like it. Um, okay. The next thing I picked up is one of these, um, Italian trays, um, I forget who makes this. Uh, it does have the, it does say made in Italy on the back and it does say the original store where you could purchase it, um, which was, is like a vintage sticker, which is pretty cool, but it's plastic, but it's made to look like wood. Um, and it's just, it's just kind of cool. Um, I don't know, kind of reminds me of like a Hollywood Regency kind of style, but it would be really pretty on a vanity with just a whole bunch of fun little trinkets and things on it, like perfumes and maybe like a pretty little dish with jewelry and you know, whatever else. So I was excited to find that. Um, this was $5. Oh, my other, my little lamp was $3. Um, Okay. Oh, then I got a whole set of these um, vintage spice jars. I got three, I got six total um, and they're really cool. Like these are very boho, um, very in right now. They're like teak, um, like a teak lid and then just a, a thick glass bottom. Um, they were 99 cents each and a few of them have like the old labels it's like so that says dill seed on it which is pretty funny um I don't know if I would pull those off or not like there's just something kind of there's something kind of cool in 70s about it but it's also kind of ugly so I don't know but these are so cool um these are definitely going to be really really hard to get rid of um and sell but I think that they will find a home rather quickly so um, I have six of those and I'm very excited about those guys. Um, okay. Then I found this little, um, dog. He's like a little Staffordshire, um, looking dog to me. I don't know. He's, I don't think he's super old. He's more vintage than like, he's not like real antique or anything. He is vintage though. Um, he's really dusty so he's pretty cute um and he was four dollars so he would look really neat on a bookshelf like just like even as kind of acting as a bookend himself but I don't know I just liked his little face so he was really cute um and I don't know if I said or not but he was three dollars um, then I got this little creamer. The last time I went to, I found a, um, like British, uh, memorabilia piece from Coronation, a Coronation, I forget whose, but, um, this is, uh, It's really cool because I feel like this is something that you would see um, at like home goods or something where they're trying to do like a fake version of it. Um, look at this guy's awesome face too. 
How scary is that? It's like so scary, but so awesome. Um, and it's from 1953 and it's made in England. I don't know. I just can't get enough of it. I'm sorry for being obnoxious. I just think it's so cool. It's just so pretty to me. Um, I definitely, again, like kind of want to keep this. It just seems so, it's just so pretty. Um, but I'm not going to, I'm going to list it and then maybe somebody else will fall in love with it as I have, but that was a really cool little piece. I was happy to find it and I paid $3 for it. Okay. Then I got some stuff that's not super old, but I just got it. Um, I got them for myself really. Um, uh, they had a bunch of these cat bowls and, I guess Marshalls and TJ Maxx are selling them now, but it used to be something that um, the only time I ever saw them was at Epcot Japan because um, they are imported from Japan. And so when I first saw these um, there, I bought myself a couple of them just because I thought they were so charming. So when I saw these at Goodwill, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So my sister-in-law picked up a few of them because she really loves cats and all things Japanese. And then I picked up two for myself. So um, they're really cute. They have like little cats on the side. So they were $2 each. Um, so I got this one and then the other one's a little different, but I think it's actually even cuter. And I got that one. So they're kind of just like nice little cereal bowls. Um, we always are using bowls. I actually like to use big bowls instead of plates. Like if I'm staying at home and we're doing takeout or something, there's just something more cozy about it. I don't know why. Um, so I'm always looking for pretty bowls for us. So the other one I got is also from um, Home Goods that somebody Literally, it still has the Home Goods sticker on it, which is pretty funny. Um, but it is dishwasher and microwavable seat. So it's not old, but it's just pretty. I love blue and white. I like the birds. Um, I like that it's a pretty nice, substantial size. And I wish that they had had more, but they just had two. I would have loved to have a set of four, but you buy what you find. Um, so they were $2 each. Or yeah, $3 each actually, which is kind of a lot. Oh well, whatever. They're still really cool. Um, so these are going to be really useful. My husband and I are going to use those a lot. So these are for me. Um, I would consider putting the cats on eBay, but the thing is, by the time I ship them out, it's not, we're not, we're just not going to make that much money off of them because they're really not worth that much. They're just cute. So yeah. Um, it's hard for me because I usually like to just thrift things that are fun or vintage. Um, and a lot of the time when I find things that are useful, I'm like, ah, I don't want to buy that. But then I always kick myself and I'm like, you needed that. Why didn't you buy it there where it was super cheap? Like dummy. So I've been trying to pick up stuff at the thrift when I find things that like we actually really and truly need. Um, so we always need bowls. So I was happy to pick those up even though they're not vintage. Um, when, okay. Oh goodness gracious. Um, the next thing I got is this little, is it Home Co? I can't remember who makes these. Um, I don't remember who makes these and this one's not labeled, um, but it's a little nightlight and it's really cute because it has all these little beads on it. And when you light it, turn it on, it lights up and it just, they shine through and it's really pretty. So it's definitely old if you look at the plug. Um, so I haven't rewired it or anything. It does work though, so I'll probably just sell it like this. And then if the new owner would like to rewire it, then they can. Um, there's like a little light bulb on the inside and it's really, really charming. So I thought that was really cute, kind of kitsch, but really cute. And this was $2.99 also. Okay. Um, then I got a little tiki cup. Um, I've said before, but 
I know not like everybody watches my videos, um, but whenever I find tiki cups, I pick them up because we have a tiki hut. Um, so I just thought it would be so cool to have like a tiki party eventually when I'm able to collect enough cups, which is like 10 years down the road because I literally only have about four of them. Um, but he's a cute guy. He is not super old. He is marked 2001, so he's not actually true vintage, but he's still cool. And he looks vintage, so. And he serves a purpose, Tiki Hut Party. So I also picked that up for myself um, to go with our Tiki collection. Um, okay, then I did some linens. I always pick up some linens, as you guys probably know. Um, the first thing I found are these napkins. So these are not from Goodwill or Salvation Army. I completely forgot. We went to another store um, that's kind of like a mom and pop type thrift store. And I always find cool stuff there, but they are kind of overpriced, but it's okay. Um, so I found these sort of mid-century napkins and I just love them. They're so funky and weird. They're like Egyptian revival. Um and they've never been used at all, like never been washed, never been used. So they're pretty, they're really beautiful. Um, I bought a set of four and they all look the same. They were $1.50 each, which is kind of ridiculous, but I just had to have them. I don't know, I just thought they were really cool. I love the colors, I love the weird graphics. So very excited about those. Um, the next piece of the next textile I got is a um, a linen tablecloth. So I've never seen black before, and I just thought this was really beautiful. Um, it's I I do think it's been washed because it's a little bit soft and like as linen gets washed more and more it gets softer um but it's a nice big size it does have a few small stains on the side so i was pretty conflicted about whether or not to buy it but i just felt like um this black is super useful and just like a little more sophisticated than some of the other ones i've seen like the kitschy ones are obviously way cuter but there's something very sophisticated about this where you could um it could definitely work its way into a variety of different households and different home styles. Whereas like the fifties, like quintessential, like kitschy ones are kind of more for like the vintage lovers of the world. Um, so I will be selling this. It is really cool. It was overpriced like everything else. Um, I paid $7 for it, which is like egregious, but um, I don't know. I just really liked it. And then I put it in my cart next to another thing. Do you ever just like put a bunch of stuff in your cart and then it all just sort of like goes really well and like vibes and you just get this really cool feeling from it. And then you're like, okay, well I have to buy it. And even though maybe you don't have to buy it, I don't know. Um, but I put it in my cart and it just looked really cool. And I was like, well, guess I'm buying it now cause it looks really cool. Um, we picked up a little bit of clothes because we went to the Goodwill bins. So whenever we go to the bins, I, I, oh, I don't know how I feel about the bins, you guys. Like I like them as a reseller because we always find stuff. And I know that my profit margin is like so high, especially since your girl just spent $7 on a tablecloth. So I overpay for pretty much all of our merchandise. So it is fun to go to the bins and actually get stuff for cheap. Um, it's just the experience is garbage. And it makes sense because that's sort of the reason why everything's so cheap is the experience is garbage. Um, and I don't love digging through the clothes. I kind of like to stick to the hard goods and just see what I can find that other people have disregarded. Um, but we were there for quite a while. So I finally just started digging through some of the clothes. So I ended up picking up some stuff, but I really like everything that we picked up. 
Um, it's all for resale, obviously. It's not all vintage because again, like the bins, it's like you get what you get. Um, the first thing is this Harbor Club um, sweater. So definitely looks vintage to me. It's all wool um, and it's a size small. It kind of looks like it's never been worn, but it's a really cute sweater. Um, I really liked the buttons on it. I just thought it was really neat. So it looked like there was a spot on it, but I don't think there is. I think it's just the light was weird. Yeah. Um, so it's a size small. I don't know if it's like a men's small because it looks kind of big and your girl is far from a size small. So I don't know, but um, I need to list that because it's like people are buying sweaters. So yes. Um, where do I put it? Oh my goodness. Sorry guys, intermission. <laughs> um, okay, then the next thing I got from the bins, um, I think from the bins, yeah, I found these yellow tab Levi's, which I was pretty excited about. Um, I mean, orange tab Levi's. So whenever I can find those, it's always a good day. Um, the last pair I found, I sold for like 45 bucks, which I was really surprised about. Um, so I'm really excited about these. They're neat. Yes. Um, so that's cool. Hopefully somebody will love those. Then the next thing I found is this little girl's um, sweater. So it's lamb's wool and angora, and it's by a brand called Claude Vernet or Vernet. Um, but it's really cute. Isn't that so charming for like a little girl? I don't know. I just thought it was super cute. I love the little arms. I don't know. So obviously that'll go on eBay, but I just thought it was really charming. And you know how the bins, like sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't need this. And then I'm like, mm, it's like 20 cents. So maybe I should just buy it. <laughs> um, then I found a hat which I have to figure out how to wash because my husband kind of wants to keep it. Um, it's a NASA hat and I just think it's really, really cool, but I want to make sure that obviously before we keep anything, I always wash um, all the clothes that I thrift anyway, but hats are hard. I don't really know how to like, I don't know. Um, but like, even if I sell clothes, I would never just like sell something that I bought at the bins and not wash it. That would be a jerk move. Um, and then I also got these, nobody really cares because it's not vintage, but I got a pair of these Columbia um, swim shorts. I was hoping they would fit my husband, but he's really not an extra large at all. He's like barely a large. So you win some, you lose some, those will go on eBay. And then the last thing I got is this vintage Gap um, flannel. I just was really drawn to the color. I was like, ooh, I like that flannel. Like, I just kind of like the green. It's like really grungy. And then it's like an old gap, like old school gap. Um, and it's a size extra large, but it kind of looks like it's been washed like a million times. You know how um, clothes sort of just get smaller as you wash it over and over again um, from being in the dryer and everything and this is cotton so my husband again is not an extra large but maybe it'll fit him um because I really like it and I'm into kind of grungy stuff so it makes sense and then the last bit of clothes I got from the bins um is another pair of vintage jeans I found these Calvin Klein's so these are pretty neat um they still have all the tags on the inside um so I've never sold Calvin Klein jeans, but I feel like, I feel like somebody is going to want them. I don't know. Um, they're pretty neat. Then, um, not at the bins, I found this really cool jacket. So it's sort of like Little Red Riding Hood, right? But I just love the ribbon detail. I just thought it was so pretty and like, kind of like folksy and... 
when I first saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, like that's, I don't know. I sent a picture of it to my best friend and I was like, do we love this or do we hate this? And she was like, well, it's something that looks cool on the hanger, but might look, might look really weird on. And I was like, true. So I actually ended up trying it on and it was really cute. And I was really shocked because usually I look really frumpy in jackets and yeah, I don't know. But anyway, it was super cute. So I was like, okay, I'll buy it thinking that um, it was homemade because it definitely looks homemade. It doesn't have like a tag, but when I unzipped it to look at it, it's actually really cool. So it's from Alaska and they call it wearable Alaskan art. Um, and it is by this special, I guess I shouldn't say special, but like this Alaskan artist, um, Laura Wright, and she's from Anchorage. And I don't know, it's just really cool as it's like made in Alaska bears. And so I just laughed because I was like, oh my goodness, I thought this was some piece of junk that some mom made for their child to dress up as Little Red Riding Hood. And it's actually from this really cool Alaskan um, artist. So very excited to find that. It's definitely looks like it's never been worn honestly so i don't know i really have no use for it because we don't really need jackets here ever um so i'll probably sell it but i was really really excited to find that um then i got some mini mouse leggings for myself <laughs> um just for hanging out around the house and then we found this cool vintage shirt um it's by Wedgefield. So this was at regular Goodwill. So we paid like four or five bucks for, which was annoying. Um, and it's a size medium. So it looks pretty small because it's like a vintage medium. So I don't think this will hit, fit my husband, but you never know. He's an odd bird. Um, but if it did, that would be awesome because I would definitely make him wear that because I love plaid and flannel. Okay, cool. Um, other stuff we got at the bins. So let's see what else I got. Um, I got this University Florida State, um, vintage Florida State mug for my best friend. Um, pretty cool. Definitely feeling that. And it's a nice big size. Sometimes it's really hard to find like bigger, um, vintage cups. So that was neat. And then Jordan and my husband found this. It's a little vintage left in um vase so i was like oh my goodness that's cool to find that at the bins so it definitely needs a bath it's horrifying and sticky but look how pretty i just thought it was so pretty so he he kind of strolled up with that and i was like good job that's so cute um then i found this little print um I had, I sold another one that's very similar to this that we also got at the bins. So it's kind of fun to find little things like this because then I can throw it on Etsy for like five or 10 bucks. Um, and then somebody has a little treasure that they can add to their um, gallery wall. So I thought that was neat. Then we got a whole set of these vintage um, Marlboro mugs. I don't know I got like six or eight of them um I just thought they were cool like maybe I shouldn't because that's like you know cigarettes are bad and all but there's something kind of like cool about them I don't know so we'll definitely sell those they're gonna be a pain to to ship but they're really cool so hopefully somebody will also agree that those are neat and yeah then I got this little frame um also from the bins I just liked the bow detail on the front and it has like it's it's actually kind of it's like felt in the back but um I liked the filigree detail and again like it's the bin so might as well so oh yeah and then I got this which probably not supposed to be showing you because I'm gonna do another like haul, holiday haul, but that's okay. Um, I got this vintage cookie jar. I just think it's so cute. It's Santa. Um, 
It's by Chimar, I think, but it's dated 1986. Um, oh, hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. I don't know, but it has his face on both sides, which I really like. And he's just so happy and cheery. And this is the lid. So I also found him at the bins. And I was shocked that he wasn't chipped or broken or anything. Um, and my sister-in-law told me that he, his box was there. And I totally missed his box. So wish I would have grabbed it. But you win some, you lose some. Um, it's going to be a pain to ship, which I think is probably why no one else wanted it um at the bins because like everyone there is a reseller practically but I couldn't leave it me so cute so I don't know I might sell them I might just keep them for my Christmas decor and like put them in my hutch or something okay okay cool um oh then at the bins I got a bunch of like random paper I I don't no <laughs> I really don't like everybody else is like digging through all the clothes looking for name brands and I'm like ooh, a card I like um I guess like this older lady I'm gonna guess older could be wrong um you know how sometimes old people or just all people because I do this too so just all people or maybe I'm just a grandma have like a drawer where they or like a bag where they just kind of throw cards that they collect over time um I know my mom has like this really awesome box where it she has it organized by every holiday and then if you need a card like you go to that holiday and you like look through the cards she has stored she's like super organized and I am not that organized but anyway my super long ramble is to say that I guess this um granny had I don't know if she had passed away or what happened. Um, I hope not, but you never know. Um, she had a whole bag of old cards that she was holding on to that were new, that hadn't been written on. And someone had just opened the bag. So literally inside like the Goodwill, like in the bin was just floating vintage cards everywhere. So I spent quite a bit of time um, just going through and saving all of the vintage cards because they're so fun. Um, so I'll just show you really quick. I'm not going to do this like super, I'm not going to like really talk about them. Um, but the first few were those. So I rescued all of those. This one's probably my favorite because it has a little animals. Um, but there's just like a bunch of cute ones. So I was like, oh my goodness, how does no one want these but me? I don't know, I am such a hoarder though. I am definitely a hoarder of paper ephemera too because whenever I find old paper like this, I just nab it. Um, I think what happened is Goodwill got all of these as a donation and they, you know how they always take the cards and like put them in like a grab bag and then you have to buy the whole bag and then you're like, oh, I got a whole bag of junk to get one cute card. So I stopped doing that because Goodwill kept like, playing me hard so I'm like no I'm not buying your nonsense cards anymore um so I think that's what happened and I think nobody bought them because nobody wanted their nonsense cards because there was also a whole bunch of bad ones that were new but like junky um so no one bought them and then they ended up at the bins and then I got lucky and got a whole bunch of these but it also breaks my heart to think how many things like this just get thrown away um because nobody else was interested in these at all. How cute is that, thinking of you? So what I really should do is just sell these in a lot, but I'm so lazy. It sounds really difficult to like list 50 million of these. Um, that, sounds, that sounds hard. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much it. And then I just nabbed a whole bunch of envelopes. I don't know if those even fit those cards, but I was like, oh, let me take the envelopes just in case. So that was really fun. Um, and then on the same note, I also got some, I guess you could call them books, but they're kind of like magazines um, from the bins. So again, everybody's fighting over like old shoes and I'm like la di da looking through the books um and I found a whole bunch of these 
um, I guess they're like art tutorial books and they're, they are like a magazine. Really what drew me to them is like the font and the graphics, but when you flip through them, the graphics are really neat. Um, they're really cool. And it's like how to, how to do these things, like how to paint. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do with any of this, but I, I really think you could frame like any single page of this and it would just be so pretty. So I, they had a whole bunch of them and they're so retro, like this is, t they're just so 50s to me, maybe even 40s. Um, like, look at that. Is that so cool? Look at that. I don't know. Um, these are also my tones. Like, you know, you guys know me. I love like moody, dark, like autumnal tones and colors. So that's my palette. Um, then this one. This one, this one's quite a bit larger, but the whole thing is color. So it's sort of deceiving because it's like a magazine, but the whole thing is all color, which is, can be rare to find in old books like this. Um, they're not dated, so I mean, they might be, and I just haven't looked hard enough. Um, I'm sure I could look them up and figure out like the actual date, but I was lazy and did not do that before filming this video. Oops. Um, but I don't know. I want to like, I want to say, I almost want to say maybe, maybe forties, some of these, I don't know. Um, but this one, this one's a little newer. I would say sixties maybe. And then this one. So, oh, it looks like these were at the library. So that's pretty cool. I don't know. I have no idea what the market is for those. I have no idea if I'm the only weirdo that would want these, but they were so inexpensive and I just loved them. I thought they were so pretty. So I nabbed them and every day I've had all our stuff sitting out like for the whole week waiting to do this haul. And every day when I walk by them, they just make me happy. So to me, that's, that's a well worth it. Um, good purchase so yay me okay um I got a couple little like books I got this little bird guide book um I love books like this so can't help myself and a little tree finder which is pretty hilarious I don't know what it is but I just love stuff like that then I found a couple really pretty paintings. So I believe this is watercolor. It's hard to tell. So when you first look at it, you're like, that's a print. But then when you like look really close, you can kind of see that the lines are a little crooked and you can actually tell that it's been painted. And then on the back, um, it is labeled 1949. So, and it's also signed. Um, and it's, it says Pompeii. So I'm wondering if these were actually purchased like on a vacation. Um, I don't know, but for me, when something's dated, I just like, it's, it's done. I pretty much have to own it. These were really inexpensive. Also, they were only $2 each. So I got these at the Salvation Army and I just thought they were really charming. So 1949 also can't go wrong. Um, original art. And also for some reason, not for some reason, for an obvious reason, um, small pictures like this sell pretty well because they're not as expensive to ship. And as a, as a homeowner, as a person, you can definitely put a lot more small pictures up um, and not as many big pictures, but if these were like double the size, they would be double the price to ship. So the smaller ones definitely do a lot better. Um, then I got some cool brass. I got this giant, I don't know, is he a swan? Is he a duck? I think he's like supposed to be a swan, but he's kind of like smaller, like a duck, but I love him because you can put a plant in him. Um, you could definitely polish him up. He's a little bit 
sad and tarnished, but he's still really rad. Um, he was expensive though. I paid $13 for him. Um, but I did get my discount because basically on our way there, we hit a Goodwill that's like in the middle. And weirdly that Goodwill accepts my discount. But then once I get further, the other Goodwills don't. I don't know. So I did get my 25% off on him, which is good. Um, then I also found these two little pine cones. Aren't they so cute? They're little candle holders. They are full of wax. So that's a little bit of a bummer because I'm going to have to fix them up. Um, but I just thought they were so cute for fall. I actually have quite a few of these that I have hoarded myself. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess I could maybe let some go now that I have so many. <laughs> um, cute. They were expensive again. They're $5 each, which is ridiculous, but I just thought they were really neat and that somebody would love them. Then I got these cool bells and I'm not really usually a bell person, but I just thought this was really fun. Um, I do believe this is probably uh, like a religious ornament. So I do, although um, it's not my religion, I want to make sure that I'm respectful. Um, I guess maybe even more so that it's not my religion that I'm respectful, um, but it comes with this little dong and you kind of hit them, but the, the sounds they make are really, really beautiful. Um, it's definitely an older piece. All the bells actually come on and off, which is really cool. And then the little thing sits at the bottom there. So I just thought it was really neat um, and special. So hopefully somebody else will think so too. And this was expensive also. This was seven bucks. So it's, it's a lot. I don't know, like our Goodwills and, and their Goodwills. Just thrifting in general is getting really expensive. And it's such a bummer because it just makes it a lot harder on the resale community community and also like for our customers because if I'm spending seven or eight dollars on an item like I have to recoup that and then also make a buck so it it does stink that we have to kind of mark things up a little bit um I try to keep my prices like the same as they were um but I definitely will say that shipping has gone up so that's a bummer too so it's all a bummer I don't know corona's the worst um Oh my goodness. Then I got a few more of these brass filigree vases. Um, this one's got like a really pretty flutter top. Um, I have a whole bunch of these. Basically what I do is I buy them, I list them, and then I keep them like out on display. So I have a whole bunch of them all together. And sort of like the more you collect, the more cool they look. So they look really fun all together and as I sell them, I just kind of grab them and ship them to their new home. But I thought this one was cool too. I liked that it had red on it. Um, this was $2.99 and this one was $5.99. So those guys are cool. Expensive but cool. Um, then my sister-in-law found this beautiful vase for me and I'm so thankful. Um, she found it at the bins, so it was like nothing. Um, and I believe it's Fenton, but I'm not 100% sure. It is hand-painted, and it's signed on the bottom by the artist. So I'm not sure if it's anybody that... Oh, it is Fenton. It's marked on the bottom. That's cool. Um, I'm not sure if anybody would know who the artist was that painted it, but it's just really beautiful and it's in wonderful condition um, other than being dirty. And it's just crazy that it wasn't broken because you know how the bins are and everybody's rooting through and going crazy. But I, I was so happy that they found this for me. I'm just obsessed with it. And they also are resellers. So it was like really, really kind of them to give that to me um because they definitely could have sold that themselves and it was very kind of them to get it from moi um then i picked up this cool i guess this is like a vase um it's brass it's it's got enamel it reminds me of cloisonne but it's not like a true cloisonne 
Um, what really sold me on it is the dragonfly. So it's a little chippy um, where the enamel's starting to chip off, um, but the dragonflies are just gorgeous and the water lilies. Um, so this was $12.99, but I got it for half price. So that also sold it for me because I was like, well, I was like, no way. And then I was like, well, I'll buy it for six bucks. It's really cool. So hopefully somebody else will see it and fall in love with it. Um, then I picked up this little bird. He's feather art. Um, I've sold, I've sold a few of these. Um, I want to say I've sold all the ones I've bought. Can't remember, but, um, this guy's really cool. I like his frame. I wish he was framed under glass. That would make him a little bit more special, but, and also more protected, but he's still really cool. Um, made in Mexico and yeah, those are very popular. Um, oh, then I also got a lamp at the bins randomly. Um, so I found this and I fell in love with it. Um, I love that it has a chain. Um, look how pretty that is. The harp is a little loose, so it's scaring me a little bit as it wobbles, but that's okay. Um, the bottom is wood and again, needs a bath. And the cord is quite old. So I would definitely say this is like authentic 60s or 70s, which makes it even cooler because it's definitely probably an import piece um, from the Middle East. It's really heavy and it's beautiful it's really beautiful so i'm not sure if i'm going to keep that or not because it's going to be a pain in the booty to ship but it's stunning and it was at the bin so it was pretty inexpensive so i was really really excited about it um then i picked up a purse to sell i kind of want to keep it but i'm not going to um oh don't you hate it when you go to Goodwill and they have like really good stuff, but it's overpriced and you're like, you're like, do I buy it? I don't know. Um, so they had two coach purses, two vintage coach purses, and I really wanted to buy both of them, but I just bought one because I had already spent like a lot of money on other things and they were pretty expensive, although vintage coach does go for a lot. So the smaller one was $24, um, but it had a scratch on it that I didn't like but it was really cool and I there's a part of me that's like oh, I should have bought it um but I ended up buying this one which is the larger of the two um and it was $29 the hardware is really neat on it it's like it's well worn but in a good way um it's doesn't really have any like dramatic water stains or anything on it or scratches which is pretty rare and it has a little coach sign um and then you open it has some scratches on the inside, but that doesn't really matter. And then it's got like the coach. So um, I just sold a vintage purse. So kind of is perfect because now this guy can go online. Um, it's just beautiful. It really is just, it is such a nice size. It's not super small and like this camel leather. I actually saw it and then um, I didn't buy it because it was $30 and I was like, but then I was like, okay, I have to go back. Like I have to get it. So this Goodwill was really cool. They had a bunch of neat stuff. I also bought a painting when we were there and I also bought um, these big giant cranes for myself that I'm about to show you if I can. Not. So it's hard to see them because they are really big. Um, this one's a little loose. I need to tighten his little feet, but he just has screws on the bottom, so it's not hard to tighten them. The only thing that stinks is they have like felt on the bottom, so I'll have to take that off. But 
So I got the pair. Um, they were $15 each, which is really expensive, but I just, I really wanted them for me and they're really nice and large and pretty. Um, just stunning, really. So vacation splurge. So I had purchased these at the same Goodwill where they had the coach purse and I was like, okay, I already spent $30. I don't want to spend another $30. Like that's a lot. And I already had also purchased like a whole cart full of nonsense I didn't need, um, like all of this. So I was like, oh, uh, I don't know. But then I had to go back and get it because I think someone's going to fall in love with that bag and rightfully so. It's pretty legit. Um, then I got a really cool beach bag from the 60s. Wow. Um, I have seen these like on other people's Instagrams, but I've never thrifted one. And oh my goodness, I love it. Like, first of all, the colors are my favorite colors in the world. Second of all, it's just like so boho. Third of all, it's so like 60s. It's just all the good things. And it's really, really big. Um, it has a few problems. Like it has a couple little spots where like the, you can kind of see right there where the straw is getting a little bit worn, but oh my goodness, it's so cute. So cute. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen with this. I'll probably list it, um, but it's gonna be one of those things that's just gonna take the right buyer because it's gonna be expensive. It's gonna be expensive to buy and expensive to ship. So, is what it is. Um, okay, so I have a couple big things to show you. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> getting a workout over here guys I'm sorry um so I found this really cool poof it's not like it's from it's like from the I would call it like vintage pier one it's like older pier one but it's still really neat um it's really big really really big and it's all made from um like Indian saris so it's all these pretty patches in this really nice green. And some of them are even beaded. They're like have beautiful embroidery on them. So this is kind of like Pier 1 before Pier 1 got really junky and then went out of business. <laughs> Let's be real. So anyway, I'm really excited about this because we have limited seating in our family room right now. And that'll be really nice to just have, to just like throw on the ground and sit on um, when we have guests over. Same when we are outside on our patio, we have, or like our lanai by the, the back, um, we have like two big chairs. And so usually a few of us will like sit on the ground. So we have a really big coffee table and we'll do like snacks and everything. And so we'll kind of sit around the coffee table outside when like you're wet and you don't want to get in, come inside anyway. Um, pool, that's why you're wet. <laughs> uh, didn't explain that. Um, so anyway, that'll be really cool to just sort of like sit and eat snacks and just enjoy the summer. So very excited about that. I've been looking online for one. I wanted like a kiln one but they are so expensive. And then you still have to buy all the pillows to go inside of it. You just get like the outside, you don't get the like inside. So I was I was like, eh, I don't really wanna spend like $150 on something like that. So I found this guy for like 12 bucks. So totally worth it. Um, then I found this tapestry. I guess you could call it a tapestry. I don't really know what else I would call it. Um, it is, I don't know, the tag says that it's from India, which is cool. So I don't believe it's like super vintage or vintage at all really. Um, okay, so it is a tapestry because it has holes where you could hang it as possibly a, as a tapestry or as like maybe a curtain, 
But really what I loved about it is it's embroidered. So it's this really cool tree. Um, and then as you, <laughs> as you go down, it has these neat animals. So it's got, um, and it even has fish on the bottom and it's got like leopards and elephants. I don't know. It's neat. It's got a monkey and the birds. I really liked it. Um, and it's, the whole thing is embroidered. So it's machine embroidered. It's not hand embroidered, but it's still really pretty and I'm still really excited about it. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure how, what I'm going to like, I'm going to sell it, but I don't really know how I would list it, but hopefully somebody will think it's really cool. Cause I think it's really cool. Okay. Um, then I picked up a few more of these trays. The, in my last haul, I picked up two, so now I'm up to four. Um, but I just, it would be, they would make such a cool gallery wall because these are both different. Um, or no, they're the same. They're the same. But they're solid brass um, and they're made in India. And they were $3 each, which I think is a pretty good deal. The other ones I bought were more. They were like six or seven each. So this is definitely a better deal. Um, oh, oops, I forgot one of my drawing books. Isn't that cool? So this one's like has a lot of people. Oh my goodness, look at the owl. That's really rad. Okay, this was also like from the Goodwill bins when I bought all those other ones that I showed you already. Um, okay, we're getting, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. 56 minutes in, guys. Hope you are not dying right now. Um, this is one piece that I bought, I did buy for myself along with those brass cranes. Um, it is dated 1936. It's a drawing and I just really love the trees. Um, obviously I love the subject matter. I love that it's old. I love the colors. I love the frame. Like I literally love everything about it. Um, we have a I don't really want to call it a gallery wall because there's only like four or five pictures, but I have like a collection, I guess, of um, old forest um, drawings and paintings that are very similar to this and kind of match this perfectly. And the ones I have are from 41, I believe. So this is actually even older um, from 1936, but it is just stunning and I... I'm obsessed with it and I got really lucky because it wasn't priced so she gave it to me for five dollars so that's awesome because usually their art is crazy expensive um then I found this crazy quilt it is not finished so it's very rough on the edges and it is does not have any backing um so it's just kind of it's very delicate it, it smells like old people <laughs> um I don't know this kind of stuff is so hard to show but it's really special um I'm really excited about it I think it's so beautiful I paid 20 dollars for it which is a lot um, but because of its age, because of the subject matter, um, it's just, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. I obviously wish it was a little more finished where it had backing because then I could sell it more as a quilt than just like as a piece. And it, it's got some rough spots on it for sure where it's kind of like falling apart a little bit because it is so old, like really, really old. Um, but it's just beautiful. It's like tattered in like a really beautiful way and it's just very special. So hopefully somebody will like see how special it is and fall in love with it in the same way I did and it will find a new home. Um, and then the last two things I found, my sister-in-law actually found for us. Um, I love art so much, but sometimes like when you go to the thrift store and it's all piled up, I get really overwhelmed from like all the stacks and the piles and like bending down and digging through and then dropping stuff and it's just bad. So I was really thankful that she took some time to kind of dig through. She found a really cute one. 
um, for herself and then she found these two for me. So I'll probably sell them, um, but I just love them. They're Alaskan art. Um, they are lithographs, but they're signed and they're just really neat. So there's that one and there's this one. I love this guy, he's so weird. But I don't know, they're really cool. There's a whole paper on the back that like it describes like the artist and everything and kind of tells more about them. So I'm really excited about them. The original sticker, what I always love when there's like an old price tag on there. So the original sticker is for $6, but to me that just like looks so old. So I hope that they actually are old. I have to do more research on them, but they were $3 each and I was just really happy to have those. So um, that's everything guys. I also got like a big giant paper cutter, like one of the old fashioned ones, but there's no way I can pick it up. It weighs like a bajillion pounds. Um, but we're going to set that up in our office once the office is done upstairs. So you'll see it. I'll do like a little tour once we get that done in seven to 10 years. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, this was a super long video. I really, really appreciate everybody that's watched. Thank you to all my new, um, and previous subscribers. I really, really appreciate everybody. Um, and yeah, I hope you have a great day. Oh, and look f forward to Halloween because, um, I'll have a Halloween haul up in the next week or so. All right. Bye guys.